Forgot to mention this in the video, but be sure to drop questions for the Q&A, which will be coming out very soon. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next live on War Day video, and this is against Reddit Demons. I'm going to be catching the end of this war, hopefully uh, get, you know, two, three attacks. Uh, we only have nine left, but uh, they should be going pretty soon, so I'm going to hang around and hopefully catch some of our 11s and 10s going in live uh, to try to get some three stars because they have two attacks left. Uh, we have nine, but they have the uh, the seven star lead to show for it. So uh, they, they got the three star on our 11 and they'll probably have to attack Chaos and uh, either Thor or Lenny with their remaining attacks, which are one Town Hall 11, one Town Hall 10. So uh, that should be interesting as far as what they do, but they can probably add, you know, another two stars, maybe even three. I'd say another three stars, so they'll probably get 86, meaning we need to get 10 stars out of our nine attacks, which shouldn't be too hard because um, <clears throat> we this base can get, you know, three starred, this one two starred, this one maybe even two starred. Uh, we do have that slight advantage, I think. Or I think Jackson actually is, let me take, check this out real quick. Uh, no, he's a Town Hall 10 also, so it's, it's a, you know, arranged war. So I guess that makes sense that it's, you know, a fair matchup. Just making sure, I wasn't sure if Jackson was a 10 or an 11, but he is a 10. Uh, so either way, it'll be an interesting end to the war, and uh, you guys should see some of this, and then I'll probably have a recap video of it as well. So anyway, I'm going to hang around, and I'll be back in just a moment with my first live action. All right, just hopped in to see Thor live. Uh, yeah, I think we're one of the first people in, but you can see it already filled up right there. Uh, 15 total spectators, which is the max. Uh, looks like he's going for a two-star attempt on this Town Hall 11, uh, doing a Baby Dragon uh, Valk combo, which is something that uh, goes for Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s both. Uh, so this is the kind of a, a attack strategy that spans a, a wide range of levels because you see this for three stars at Town Hall 9, um, also for two stars for a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10 or even a Town Hall 11. And also Town Hall 10s can use this as well uh, with the level 3 Baby Dragons, level 5 Valks. Uh, so cool stuff to see. But anyway, uh, going in here, getting just a little bit of percentage taken out. Not the best value for these Baby Dragons, or at least the ones by the army camp. You want to get, you know, two to three buildings, preferably three, or at least get some buildings that have some value, like some funnel value for your Valks or something. Because uh, you are investing a total of 10 troop space, which is quite a bit uh, just for percentage. So 25% uh, of that first little push still has three baby dragons, so he's still dropping these around. That one up top should get the two uh, gold mines. And then this one should get another two buildings, probably get in there, get that mortar taken out. And uh, that archer tower, that's a good trade. Uh, yeah, the archer tower should go down right there, it does. Um, so 30% handful of defenses. Uh, that was an interesting jump. I guess he only wants to access the compartment with the uh, eagle in the town hall. So drops that in a very uh, particular location. And I think that's good. Uh, he does not want those Valks to wander. And those should get in there and go straight unless something drew them over there. I guess the CC troops drew them into the compartment up there. But a few are coming back. Nope, no they're not. Looks like they might. But I think the queen should still get the town hall eventually because he's going strong, the eagle's already down, the inferno, if that inferno goes down, he can get some pretty solid percentage here, because uh, right there, the town hall goes down, uh, yeah, pop the ability, there you go, uh, before those skellies engage, that was good, uh, actually only 53%, because the defenses took out the Valks pretty quickly, even though the inferno did go down, so it looks like a 54%, good attack to Thor, um, that's an important two-star to be able to get, especially on kind of an anti-two-star type base there, because uh, it, I guess anti-2, anti-3, it did have the uh, the Town Hall pretty central, which is always hard for a Town Hall 9. So we used one of our Town Hall 10 attacks, got the job done. That's an extra two stars for us. Not sure what we're going to do here with number one, uh, but possibly another Town Hall 10 attack on it. Let's take a quick look at the base. Um, looks kind of like an anti... These are anti-3 star bases, I believe, but uh, they are keeping the Town Hall central, so you cannot do an easy Town Hall 9 uh, two star. This would be a hard base to two star. So we'll we'll have to wait and see what we do with this one. I'm not exactly sure, but regardless, a good attack to Thor. Uh, let's wait around and uh, see the next attack as it happens. All right, guys, I am back and uh, don't have an attack right now, but I wanted to uh, 
give you guys some context as to what's going on in the war. Uh, you can see they have used all of their attacks, and it might look like this one's going to be a win for us because we have four attacks left. But we, one of our Town Hall 9s down here uh, had an, has an issue, so he's not going to be able to do his attacks most likely. And uh, it's going to be down to our top two uh, Town Hall 11s, Captain Cold and Trigger Man. And uh, they have to get three stars between them. Taking a look at percentage, which could be subject to change, uh, looks like they might have us here, even if uh, we do get it up a little bit with the next two attacks. Uh, they're at 96 and a half, we're at 93 exactly. And uh, as far as their two stars, there's a 95 there, an 84 there, and uh, this one's only a 54, which probably won't change. So it looks like we're going to need a four stars between them, which is doable because we have a Town Hall 11 taking on a Town Hall 10 right here. That could get three stars right there. And then the fourth uh, is going to probably, or the next. Sorry, I'm just like, oh, here we go, never mind. Uh, forget my math. Uh, let's just take a look at the attack. Uh, a three-star would be pretty huge here. And I don't think it's necessarily uh, required, but uh, a three-star here, and then just one star on the other base. So basically, we need a, uh, a, a three-star from one of these attacks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we need a three-star from one of these attacks. So if this gets the three-star, then uh, the other attack only has to go for two stars, which is super easy. So this could right here win the war for us, uh, pretty much if it's a three star. Anyway, though, come in here with a mass miner, 42 miners, uh, pretty crazy stuff. Dropping them all in here has his heroes and uh, I think a golem maybe, maybe not a golem, but has his heroes making their way into the middle of the base here. I can get in there with the golem. Yeah, there is a golem. Get that one inferno tower taken out. The CC troops, the heroes, that important stuff right there. Then has a freeze and a couple heals for his miners. It's going to let them make their way through the base here as they come through at the bottom. Uh, right here, they're making their way in. Should get that second Inferno fairly quickly. And still has the Warden's ability. And looks like he's going to hang out near those miners. So hopefully they'll get the ability uh, when the Warden activates it. Right here would be a good time probably. Uh, yeah, use that ability. Oof. I don't know how many miners died to those giant bombs. Uh, but it looks like the Inferno will go down uh, a little bit late on the on the Warden's ability. Uh, still will get that Inferno, but lost quite a few miners. Uh, has a big group on the bottom though, so that should carry him through the rest of the space. This is going to be a pretty easy 3-star. I think a mass miner at Town Hall 11 is pretty hard to stop for any Town Hall 10 base, uh, especially with the Warden's ability being able to save you. That Dragon, I didn't even notice in the CC, is still up, uh, but he has a Freeze, he has the Queen, the Queen's ability. Uh, shouldn't be much of an issue, especially with these miners under the heel. Uh, but if they group up, I guess the baby dragon could do some damage to them. Uh, he should freeze probably the... Or I guess it doesn't even matter at this point because the queen can take out the rest of the base on her own. Has plenty of time. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch the end. I don't think the other one's going in live yet. Um, yeah, some uh, excitement there. We'll go ahead and give a woo. Uh, there we go. Have the shortcut. A nice freeze and uh, this base is toast. Awesome attack to Captain Cold, uh, getting the three star with the mass miners, and uh, still has the queen's ability. Pops it right there. Everything going down. Let's just watch the three star happen, cause why not? Um, actually, you know what? I don't want to miss another attack. Uh, yep. What do you know? What do we got? Trigger man, come on. Ah, let me in. I was stupid to stay in that long. Uh, let me in. Oh, let's say recording. See if someone lets me in if I'm lucky enough. Uh, keep tapping, keep tapping. Come on. Do it for the channel. Uh, yeah, looks like the woos are going to cancel that out. No one's even seeing that. Uh, but that's already it, though, guys. Right there, uh, that's the two-star. This one is over 87-86. Um, awesome win. And, uh, yeah, Captain Cold, a.k.a. Jose, a.k.a. Iceman. Uh, every, pretty much every account in the clan. <laughs> Uh, and then Trigger Man just gets the job done with the two-star here. Probably doing a three-star attempt. I'm not sure if he adjusted his plan based on what happened or if it needed to be adjusted. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at his attack real quick. And actually, we can take a look at his first attack instead. That might even be better. Uh, pretty crucial three-star up here that happened earlier. I guess I missed it in the 45 minutes or so that I was away. Uh, but we'll take a quick look at it, then we'll wrap this up. Had two live attacks, so not bad. Uh, for the end of the war, because I had one video where I just could not catch anything. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, you can see right here comes in, uh, goes ahead and lures the CC early, so it'll get taken care of right at the beginning here, has the poisons, uh, the balloons shouldn't do much, and then it's kind of, looks like his troops are going to the right side mainly, a uh, few boulders going off to the left, this is kind of going to be interesting if they just walk around the entire base, you can see this guy threw his Teslas kind of by the town hall, but they're within range of the bowlers. So everything making its way around this moat still has two rages and the warden's ability. Uh, hit a bit of a double giant bomb or a single giant bomb or something there. Uh, but everything's still moving through, kind of petering out on the left side of the base. But on the right side, the, the, the queen and the warden, that combo is so powerful, especially with those healers and the rages. Uh, even though the bowlers are pretty much toast at this point, still has that combo, and it looks like that convoy will kind of make its way through. Let's go ahead and go times two, uh, just to speed it up a little bit, because uh, just the Infernos are down, or actually only one Inferno is down. So this is a huge uh, finish on this attack. You can see uh, this the Queen's not dying, has that Rage. Even though there's only like two or three healers, I think only two healers, uh, the Raged healers are still going to keep that Queen up for, the, for now. Still has her ability plus the Warden's ability, so it's letting things make their way through. The Warden's actually getting low, and that, there were some Miners, I didn't even catch that. It looks like he just dropped in those Miners or something. Uh, they do go down pretty quickly, but they, uh, actually they got that Inferno Tower taken out along with the Queen. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but actually got pretty good value for that little Miner push at the end, so good stuff there. Um, awesome attack to trigger mine. This is the first time I'm seeing it, so uh, I'm just surprised that kind of everything died pretty quickly, but that last little convoy of the Queen and uh, the Grand Warden and some healers can be pretty powerful. But anyway, good job to Genesis, great win. Good job to Reddit Demons as well. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.